Reaction pouring in after Donald Trump's announcement of his third presidential bid. The reaction less than enthusiastic for the twice impeached president who faces a mountain of legal trouble. Republican leaders seem to be shying away from him, but what about his MAGA base? News 4's Melissa Russo live in the newsroom with the latest for us. Melissa? Well, Gilma, there's not really a lot of mystery around Trump's base and how they feel about him. That has been pretty much unchanged. But after some poor performances by some of the candidates that Trump backed in contested midterm races last week, we are not hearing much from New York Republican politicians about the former president's announcement last night. In order to make America great and glorious again, I am tonight announcing my candidacy for president of the United States. I just find him to be a clown. He's a horror show. No surprise, some New York voters say they're filled with dread at the idea of a Donald Trump comeback. We need to be calm. And already the rhetoric. It's going to mean chaos again. Chaotic. It would be chaotic. Let's not uh, get it twisted. Donald Trump does have followers. Here in Midtown today, we found almost as many followers as we did critics. He has a lot of courage. Right. Better than any Democrat. Okay, end of the story. He's a real person. Family man, divorcee, businessman, he bankrupt, he made it, bankrupt again, makes a lot of mistakes, but he's real. So we're going to keep it very elegant. As Trump rallies go, the tone last night seemed intentionally subdued. Even Trump admitted he was trying to take the high road. And I'm not going to use the term fake news media. And on the topic of Trump's news coverage, the New York Post, once a big Trump champion, opted not even to put his name on today's front page. Instead, a headline way down at the bottom reads, Florida man makes announcement. And their story, just a couple inches long, buried down on page 26. Even some of Trump's most loyal backers are being cautious now about jumping fully back onto the Donald Trump train. I think you have a Republican Party that is champing at the bit to, to go after President Biden and his failed presidency. So uh, we're excited that the former president uh, is getting ready to run in 24. And I'm excited that other people are, are also uh, willing to take the plunge uh, and run. That was Staten Island Councilmember Joe Borelli. He was the first New York elected Republican official to back Donald Trump in 2016. Clearly a more cautious response from him today. Several other Republican lawmakers, meanwhile, including Lee Zeldin, Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis, and even the chair of the New York State GOP, have not commented, nor have they responded to our inquiries specifically about Donald Trump's announcement last night.